Aries, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late November into early December 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Aries Collective. My God, Spirit Team, talk to me about us Rams. What do you got for us here as we are in Sagittarius season at the time of this film and let's see what's up and yeah we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card then we'll get into the full reading itself and at the very end i'll pull you a bonus card from the shadowland tarot just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on which is always interesting well, let's get it going here let's rock and see what we got for aries please in this new zodiacal season i know scorpio season was a little hectic right but let's see hopefully we're going to get some good energy last week was so we're going to hope to keep that going What's happening for Aries, please? Thank you. Nice and quick. All right, so a lot of you, there could be a big focus on the unseen, whether that's the unknown or even spiritual. There's a lot of power in this card. It reminds me a lot of the Hierophant, and they're, it's very complex. These Oracle cards are simplistic, but the meaning behind this, you see the striking imagery there with the blindfold and all the spiritual emblems. So there's a lot of depth in this card. Now, before we fully dive into it, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the November subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about this card. So like I said, it does remind me of the Hierophant with its in-depth spiritual type of vibe. Now this, I already mentioned a couple of the themes that I always think of with this card. Notice we have this person, they're blindfolded. There's like almost every type of spirituality represented here. So the unseen energy. So for a lot of you, you might be focused on the unknown, whether that what's coming down the pipeline, what the future has for you. That could be a big thing in your mind. There might just be certain things evolving or relapsing that you don't quite know all the moving gears and parts right now, right? Like there could be a lot of surprises coming in when this card shows up, especially with the blindfolded energy. But there is that big focus on the spiritual. Whenever I get this card, I do tell a lot of Aries now could be a great time for us because I'm part of the collective too, for us to really dive deep into spiritual topics. Even our own personal form of spirituality could be very important, whether it's just meditation, whether it's reading up on literature of it, but this unseen etheric type of energy, I find very intriguing. And we'll see if it shows up within the reading itself. But there is this aspect of the unknown that I really want to uncover as well. Let's just put that down. We're going to get into tarot now. <clears throat> and as I always say, that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. Let's get you three cards in the upright. Then we'll get into the intuitive juiciness here. Let's shuffle it up one time, see what we have for Aries in late November, going into early December. And while we get the deck ready, let's talk about last week's reading, because those energies could still bleed over into this week. Last week's reading was titled Exciting News Incoming. So for a lot of you, if you haven't received some good news or exciting news, that could still come. Okay, remember, we do have this aspect of the unknown, but we'll see what's happening. As you know, every reading it's it's different right energy is very fluid it's never set in stone so only take it out it's for you because we could be seeing your vibe we could be seeing other people that you're connected to you know how this goes but let's get you three cards and start it off right what do we got for aries as we move in towards december please late november early december thank you all right this is a little conflicted fiery energy this isn't a card that i feel aries is concerned with when we see it Okay, so whether this is internal conflict or external, we'll have to see what's up. But let's keep moving. It could be determination, okay? but Aries is very comfy with that fire. Okay, lots of powerful energy here already. We have the chariot, distance, trips, all that stuff. Let's get one more here, then we'll really tie it in. I feel like for a lot of you, this is either going to be a very hot or very cold type of reading. Like it could be either really good or it could... There could be some challenges. Okay, immediate stop. Okay, so the way this energy is flowing is odd, to say the least, I'll tell you that. Now, let's just go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I look down here at the box. I see two very powerful major arcana that are the complete opposite of each other. We're talking like yin-yang, complete opposites. And the way the energy is flowing, there's tons of determination, action, and movement in the front end. And it's like a screeching halt 
right here on the back. So hopefully this isn't you like put, like putting something to stop or halt. That might be a good thing for some of you, but we'll just have to see how this plays out because there's a lot of competing energy here, Aries. So let's go through piece by piece and then we'll continue further with the intuitive. Now, position number one, we have the five of wands. You don't really have to be an expert in tarot to understand what this card means. You see the five people, they're beating the crap out of each other with sticks. These people, they're going to battle, right? They're going to war. So the first thing that we always think of is conflict of some kind, right? Whether it's an external conflict with somebody else or a group of people, whether it's internal conflict here, like you're feeling hot and cold about things. or And we kind of see it here as well. It's like full go, full stop, full go, full stop. So there's this big like seesaw of energy, if I could put it like that. Now, some of the positives of the Five of Wands, aside from the conflict or people button heads here, it's very fiery, it's a Wands card. It could be uncontrollable sometimes, it could be explosive, I always say that. But this card could also represent determination. It could represent, in its best sense, like being a roughhouser, like joking around, play fighting, sparring, stuff like that. But when I see this Five of Wands, especially with the way this is lined up, I'm feeling somebody going through lots of roller coasters of emotions, very hot and cold. So we'll see how it all plays out, okay? Now, another thing I will say, if you are do, trying to do some problem solving, when I look at this as a whole, that could be very good because both of these cards in the front could represent conflict. And this is like stopping it on the back. But like for some reason, that hanged man is sticking out to me like a sore thumb. But let's keep moving. In position number two, we have the chariot. Now, this could just represent a cancer or a cancerian in your life. This is their power card. But there's a lot of themes and archetypes with the chariot. I always say it's action. Once again, sim even though this is water energy, similar to this, it's like explosive. Like it's very action oriented, either going to towards something or moving away from it. It's like, go, 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 go. So there's like so much energy swirling around here on the front end with, with a card like this. This could represent distance, situations involving distance. It could be travel. This could represent your vehicle. So whether you're looking for a new vehicle, fixing your vehicle up, the chariot is mode of transportation in one form or another. Or you might just be on the go quite a bit. A good thing about the chariot is that it also represents determination. So there's a lot of determined energy here. So whatever, if you're going through tough situations or problems, like you could be determined to see it through, or at least that might be how you were feeling with the way all this is playing out. But let's just keep moving. I always say with the chariot that we need to always remember that chariots were built and designed to be a, an instrument of war, right? In ancient times, chariots were weapons. So we need to watch out for that. Moving to the very back end here, we have the hanged man, complete opposite of what we got going on with this chariot here. So when I see it, all this energy that's swirling right here up front, screeching halt. So for some of you, you might be putting certain things to halt, putting certain things to stop, certain situations you might be stepping back from, taking a step away. There's not a lot of movement or effort here. This is someone standing still. So whether you're retracting from something or just saying, you know what, whatever. Like it's kind of that energy I'm picking up here, like putting up so much effort, so much effort, fine, whatever. Like I'm not going to try anymore, which depending on the circumstance or situation, that could be a really rough thing. Now the chariot, I mean, the hanged man could also be watching. So whether it's someone watching you, analyzing you, you might be under someone's microscope, maybe someone's under your microscope on a card like this. It's kind of like a wait and see type of energy. So whereas we have all this energy up here, like competing, doing this, that, and the other thing, this one is like pulled back, waiting and seeing. As far as Zodiac goes, this is Scorpio energy. It could also represent Virgo to some people, but you see what I mean? There's like a, a competing energy. There's a possible conflicted energy that we might have to deal with here, Aries. So I want to dive deeper. Let's jump in and clarify. <clears throat> all right, let's get a good shuffle here for Aries. God, the spirit team, talk to me. What's happening? And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. What's going on that five of wands here? You might have warnings here with conflict. We'll see. Oh, and yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Aries, you can drop it right down in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, let's go in on that five of wands. Why do we got that five of wands here? Thank you. Okay. 
and maybe in your mind you're like, all right, something shouldn't be this hard or it shouldn't be this much of a struggle. And similar to what I'm picking up here on the back end when I get the 10 of wands in reverse, I'm getting competing energies again. So for one, there might be certain situations or things you're going through, even conflicts, whether within yourself or someone else, where it's like, all right, this should not be as hard as it is. Or like, it, it, it's got to be easier than this. Like, that's kind of the vibe. If that's not you, that could be how someone around you is feeling. But I do like that this could also be improvement. So whereas it's like possible someone getting fed up saying like, yeah, I'm not trying no more. I'm taking a big step back. It is what it is. I'm not feeding any more energy into it. But at the same time, this Ten of Wands in reverse is somebody relieving a burden. So once again, I'm getting this problem solving. This like, okay, let's figure out what's going wrong. Let's fix it. Let's attack it at its root. So <laughs> interesting stuff here, Aries. I feel like it's a very simple, straightforward. Now with the Ten of Wands in reverse under the Five of Wands, I do feel like for a lot of you, you might be feeling revitalized in this time as well. So that's a very good piece of energy we're picking up like if you've been feeling down if you've been feeling sick or ill this is like revitalizing in some way or another but let's keep moving forward because i feel like that's only a piece you know that's our little introductory energy so let's see what's happening with that chariot okay so why is a chariot here something you might be bringing something to a halt or a stop or an end that's possible with the way this is and that the hanged man. We'll see when we get there. So why is the chariot in the mix? Thank you. Yeah, someone's having a very difficult time controlling their emotions. And we've been seeing this since the beginning. Ace of Cups in reverse here. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody who's really not seeing things from other people's perspectives. That's one thing I'm picking up here intuitively. But once again, this is a big emotional warning I'm picking up here. And it's been showing up throughout the whole reading where for a lot of us Aries in this time, I know we could people label us hotheads, right? I don't quite see it like that all the time. We could be pretty chill. But internally or mentally, there's just such a hot and cold back and forth type of energy where like one second you might be feeling good, then the next you might be down in the dumps, then you might be angry, then it's like bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. So if that's not you, if you're at a good baseline in this time and nothing riles you up, there could be someone you're linked to that is going through a very difficult time. Like it could be an emotional warning or someone might emotionally be a mess. Like someone like mentally, emotionally, they, it's very messy here. Okay, so take from that what you will. I know I, f I feel like I saw that for you like a month or so ago, maybe a couple months, but we're going to keep going. Either an emotional warning or someone is, you know, a little bit of a mess emotionally or mentally. So let's see what's happening with that hanged man. Because that might be the cure with all the stuff we got going on up here, all this back and forth, hot, cold, this hanged man on the back end like that. Let's take, let's put our foot off the gas and take a breath here. So let's see why the hanged man is in the mix. Then we'll do a quick recap before we get into the shadow card. It's happened two ones. Yeah, okay. This hanged man, I don't feel like it's necessarily bad. This could be someone that they're trying to get their bearings straight here. So if you've been having difficulties with a particular individual or multiple people, the spirit might be asking you to take a step back in one way or another. Or if there has been a person that's kind of gone quiet, gone ghost, gone cold, it's for the greater good. I mean, you might not want to hear that, but that could be a big possibility. Another thing I'm seeing here, if that's not you needing to bring something to a stop or a stoppage, the Two of Wands is one of my cards of planning. It's a card of strategy. So when I see it underneath the Hanged Man, remember I said it could be someone analyzing, watching. This could also be planning as well. So there might be someone trying to set a plan into motion here. Maybe that's why there's all this competing energy. Like, all right, do I play it cool or do I act or do I do this or do I do that? There could be somebody weighing options and plans. So someone has a plan brewing here. That's a big possibility. And if that's not somebody else, maybe Spirit's asking you to be a little bit more strategic about whatever things you're going through right now, okay? Like strategy isn't always a bad thing. It's not always a nefarious thing. Sometimes it's good to have a plan. And as an Aries myself, I know a lot of us like to be a little spontaneous, go with the flow. This energy on the back end is asking us to slow something down, stop it, take a breath and start strategizing. And if that's not what Spirit's telling us, Someone's setting something up. Someone's setting some sort of plan in motion. That's a big vibe. So let's go through and do a quick recap. Then we'll get into the shadow card. Interesting stuff. A little bit of 
everything, right? It's all over the place here. But let's go through piece by piece. Lots of fire here. There's lots of water too. It's like half water, half fire. So it's that competing elements, competing energies all over the place, Aries. So position number one, we have the five of wands, ten of wands in reverse. There might be something you're going through where you might feel like, all right, it shouldn't have to be this difficult or it shouldn't have to be that hard or is it even that big of a deal? Like, why is this getting out of hand? But another good thing I was picking up here is someone improving or feeling revitalized. So for a lot of you, if you've been feeling down, you've been feeling low, this could be you really gaining some energy back, which could be good. Problem solving as well. Moving to the center, we have the chariot with the ace of cups in reverse, okay? A lot of emotional volatility. I did say this could be an emotional warning that someone could be here, there, and everywhere, up and down, side to side. Like it's just a little bit of everything happening here in the energy area. So take from it what you will. I did say it could be someone that's a bit of a mess. Moving to the back end, we do have the hanged man with the two of wands in the upright. Taking a breath, taking a little breather, taking a break. That's a big thing here. So spirit might want you to do that. I did also get big things about if you're not putting stoppages to things, get into more of a strategic mindset, whether this is somebody that's planning or you needing to tackle whatever issues you're going through in a more strategic way. So please take a screenshot of that, Aries. Let's get you a shadow card here. Let's see what's happening, my guides. What do we got for the Aries Collective? I mean, that was an interesting one, different than last week, that's for sure. What do we got for Aries, please? And yes, I always like to pull one shadow card at the very end. I feel like it's a nice thing to do, just to see whether it's something within you or something you don't quite see. A shadow card doesn't always have to be a challenge, right? Sometimes it can be. Let's see what's happening. What's in the shadows for Aries? Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll leave a link for it down in the comments below. It's various different tiers and rewards, and it's a beautiful way to support the channel. So please check it out. No pressure. Let's see what's happening in the shadows for Aries, please. Gods and spirit team. Okay. All right. We have the nine of swords stressed. Okay, yeah, someone might be losing a little bit of sleep here. Spirit could be wanting you to focus on your rest, make sure you're getting proper rest, recuperation, but this is a very nervous, anxious type of energy showing up in the shadows. Notice, we had all this stuff happening within the spread itself, and now this is also in the shadows. So somebody's nerves, somebody's anxieties could be making them act in a very specific way. Maybe that's something you don't quite see. If someone seems cool or calm on the surface or detached, they might not, they might not be here when this card shows up as a shadow card. The Nine of Swords is also a little paranormal in its ways. So I do say you might be a little more energetically sensitive in this time. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're cleansing yourself, protecting yourself energetically when Nine of Swords energy is in the mix. But yeah, somebody is being spurred on by their stresses and anxieties here. So for whatever that's worth, whether it's you or somebody else, just please make sure you're getting proper rest and recuperation. We saw that within the spread itself. So Aries, that's what I have for you this week, my beautiful friends. Don't click away just yet though. I'm gonna give you the details. The November subscriber surprise. You got your name in for the October subscriber surprise. The winners will be in the community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for November, we're bringing back winner's choice. Two lucky subscribers will get to pick a deck of their choosing up to 40 US dollars. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things as always, my friends. First, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments. Out of all the zodiac signs, which one do you think is the most fun? Which one do you have the most fun with? And yeah, after that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of November, I'll pick the winners at random as usual. My friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.